Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can throw title out of a treasure box in VSTC Free Video Editor. Now, today's tutorial is really unique and different, and we will do a lot of different things to create this title animation. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to do this, first you need to import a green screen video. So I've downloaded this video from pixabay.com. I will give the link in the description box below and you can download this video for free from there. Once you download this video, go to add object, select video. Now select the video which you downloaded and then click on open. Now click on OK. Perfect. So this is our demo video and let me just quickly play this video for you. Now as you can see as the video progresses the treasure box opens up and inside the treasure box we have the green screen present. Perfect. Now what we will do first is we will remove the green screen. So double click on the video and then go to video effects, go to transparency select background remover and then click on ok now place the cursor somewhere around the end so that the green screen is clearly visible and now look inside the background remover settings and look inside the chroma key color option to the extreme right of the chroma key color option you will find this pen icon so click on this pen icon and take your cursor and click on the green screen now, as you can see, most of the green screen is removed, but still there are some portions left around the borders. So what we will do is we will click on this add additional color option. And once you click on this add additional color option, a second chroma key color option will appear. Now click on this pen icon of the second chroma key color option. And once again, click on the green color perfect now let me just quickly zoom in my screen perfect and now let me just click on add additional color once again and let me just select the pen icon of the third chroma key color option perfect let me just click on add additional color option once again and let me just now select the pen icon of the fourth chroma key color option. Perfect. And now as you can see, the entire green screen is properly removed. All right. Now let me just zoom out my screen and let me just quickly go back to the main editing timeline. All right. Now next what we will do is we will place our cursor somewhere around 8 second 300 millisecond and we are placing this cursor at 8 second 300 millisecond because that is when the treasure box completely opens up and we get to see what is inside the treasure box right at this particular position. So place the cursor at 8 second 300 milliseconds and go to add object go to text click on text and then click on ok now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has next let's write some text inside the text box so let me just write let's say name of my youtube channel next gen blog and let me just center align my text by going to paragraph and then selecting center and once again going to paragraph and then selecting center align let me also change the font from Arial to Impact and let me also increase the text size to somewhere around let's say 200 pixels. Perfect. Let me also increase the spacing between my letters. So right here is the tracking option present. Currently the value inside the tracking option is 0 pixels. So let me just increase the value from 0 to 10 and as you can see spacing has increased between my letters perfect next what i would like to do is i would like to decrease the opacity of my text from 100 percent to zero percent 
and I would like to change the contour color from black to white. Next, I would like to increase the contour thickness to somewhere around 10 pixels. Perfect. Now, currently the duration of the text object is 1 second 766 milliseconds. So, I would like to increase the duration of my text object in the timeline from 1 second 766 milliseconds to 5 seconds. So, inside the duration option, write 05.000 and then press enter. Now, double click on the text object and what we will do is we will add a zoom effect and a rotate effect. So, go to video effects, go to transforms, select zoom and then click on OK. Currently, the duration of the zoom effect is 5 seconds. So, I would like to decrease it to 1 second. So, inside the duration option, write 01.000 and then press enter. Now, look inside the zoom settings and look inside the levels option where currently the value is 100%. So, change the value from 100 to 0 semicolon 100 and then press enter. Perfect. Now, Go to video effects once again, go to transforms, select rotate and then click on OK. Duration of the rotate effect is 5 seconds. So decrease the duration from 5 to 1. So inside the duration option, write 01.000 and then press enter. Now look inside the rotate settings and look inside the rotate angles option where currently the value is 30 degree. So change this value from 30 to 0 semicolon 360 and then press enter perfect and so now if i just quickly play the video for you perfect next what we will do is we will glow this text so i would like to place my cursor at 1 second 500 milliseconds in the timeline so both my zoom effect and rotate effect ends at 1 second in the timeline so 500 milliseconds later at about 1 second 500 milliseconds I would like to glow my text so place the cursor at 1 second 500 milliseconds go to video effects go to nature select shadow and then click on ok currently the duration of the shadow effect is 3 seconds 500 milliseconds so decrease the duration to just 2 seconds so inside the dura duration option write 02.000 and then press enter now look inside the shadow effect settings inside long shadow currently false is selected so that's fine inside light angle currently the value is 45 degree so change this from 45 to 0 inside shadow distance currently the value is 10 pixels so change this from 10 to 0 inside shadow color currently black is selected so click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right of shadow color option and this colors dialog will open up. Now right here is the HTML notation text box and inside the HTML notation text box you need to write FC3333 and now click on OK. Inside the shadow max size option currently the value is 10 pixel so increase this from 10 to 50 and inside the intensity option currently the value is 0 so increase this from 0 to 100 perfect now what we will do next is we will add a glitch effect right at the beginning and at the end of the shadow effect and it will be for a really small duration of 100 milliseconds so go to video effects go to special effects select glitch and then click on ok Currently, the duration of the glitch effect is 3 second 500 millisecond. So, decrease the duration to just 100 milliseconds. So, inside the duration option, write 00 0.100 and then press enter. Now, look inside the glitch effect settings. Inside preset, currently custom is selected. So, click on this drop down list and select the sixth option, which is just displacement. Perfect. Next, what we will do is we will click on this glitch effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now place this second glitch effect right at the end of the shadow effect like this. Perfect. Perfect. 
and so now if I just quickly play this video for you perfect finally at the end what we will do is we will add a zoom effect and a fade out effect so go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok currently the duration of the zoom effect is 533 milliseconds so decrease the duration to 500 milliseconds so insert the duration option write 00, 00.500 and then press enter now place the zoom effect right at the end like this just a second let me just insert the time option let me just write 4 second 500 millisecond perfect and now look inside the zoom settings and inside the levels option currently the values are 0 semicolon 100 so change the values from 0 semicolon 100 to 100 semicolon 1000 and then press enter perfect and finally we will add the fade out effect so go to video effects go to transparency select fade out and then click on ok currently the duration of the fade out effect is one second so decrease the duration from one second to 500 milliseconds so insert the duration option write 00 0.500 and then press enter now place the fade out effect right at the end like this perfect and we are done so now if I just quickly go back to the main editing timeline and if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start. So our video starts with the treasure box opening up and gradually we see what's inside the treasure box and our text comes on screen. Perfect. perfect so this is how you can throw title out of a treasure box in vscc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching